This is Athena Jezik and we're going to do a little stomach work today because there's some issues that are going on of a cramping nature and there's not a whole lot that you can really do but there's some stuff cranially that can be done with the diaphragm releasing. So I've got my one hand underneath her on her sacrum, uh, it's L5S1 and I'm just going to set the other hand on top and engage, uh, letting the energy from one hand to the other hand kind of meets in the middle. And then you can feel that connection. If you can't feel it coming from hand to hand, then you'll just feel it on the body. Again, it's an interfacing with the body. And this is primarily to just interface so that what's called the pelvic diaphragm, it's a band that runs around your body so that that band can just relax and so that some of these cramping muscles with this pain kind of feeling about that can be relaxed and just settle down, settle down that triggering mechanism. And what I'm feeling under my hands is just, it's a softening the softening. And I'll move my hand up a little and feel it here. Here I'm going into feeling what's going on in the organs underneath. If there's any restriction, any torques, and it's tissues are unwinding, so there is some activity going on. It's been a pretty intense discomfort. So that's a little bit of unwinding. It can just help. Sometimes just having the hand there and the intention of the hands that you want the person to feel better. Just, just the touch alone sometimes will bring a, a measure of comfort. Yeah, it's, it's unwinding a bit. I know it probably isn't a much of a spectator activity to watch this, but there is quite a bit going on, and it's not only on the top hand, it's also on the bottom hand. My bottom hand is right across the, the edge of it is on um, the sacrum, and then it's up into the lumbar vertebrae. <clears throat> And there's a lot of softening going on on either side of the vertebrae with those muscles. Okay, and then the other thing that I can do for this type of thing is open up the lymph and just feel the quadrant here, the two quadrants of the lower quadrants. and. What's happening as well, which oftentimes does happen when there's discomfort like that, is the fluids don't flow very well. So I'm going to do just a little lymph work just to move fluid into the lymphatic system, just to relieve some of the pressure of fluid that might be in some of these nodes that are around this area, the organs. and. There's been some referred pain back at the lower part of the kidney and in the low back. It's not really that the back has got the problem, but it is feeling the, re the referred pain. And just to get a little bit of fluid movement into the, um, out of the nodes and into the system is helpful. There are some herbs that are good for muscle cramping, for abdomen cramping, that you can research. And 
and then I'm going to give a little draining to the liver because pain will give stress signals. Stress will give a certain load onto the body, so I'm just going to help the liver out a little bit. It's a pretty important organ. Keep it the rest of the system as functioning as well as possible. And this is just moving fluid. It's not like an entire lymph work opening up the vessels and the areas that need to. And this is already feeling different as far as the way that the fluid is moving. It's not so stuck. It doesn't feel quite as gelatinous as it did. It's, there's more fluidity to it. And then to kind of go underneath here and just rock the body a little bit. Letting the organs just relax out with each other. And then you can come up a little bit more onto the sides and create a wave action. When you see a lot of waving going on like that, that's, that's good. The fluids are moving well. It's when it's tight, that's when we want to work with it a little longer. So that's what I would do for just helping to relieve a little bit of the muscle tension for cramping and not so well feeling stomachs and intestinal tracts. Okay, always remember if you are going to be working into the stomach area that you go gently into it. And it is a good idea to let the fascial structures relax and then also move the fluid, especially if you're going to get down deep into the, into the organs because you want to have everything soft so that the organs can pull you right in and around them. It also makes it easier to find them so you can go between them. And of course, take a good look at the an anatomy book so that you get a good uh, image in your head for the landmarks of where you're going to be working on. Although in some cases there's a lot of distortion that happens to the organs, particularly in very heavy, heavy people. Sometimes the stomach and the, the different uh, uh, large intestinal stuff will shift positions. So if you're working on somebody that has quite a bit of weight, you'll want to really pay attention to what you're, what you're feeling because some of that can be shifted and the stomach, rather than being here, can be slipped over to the side or the other side or dropped. So that's another reason why you don't want to go quickly and heavily into the um, areas of the organs. Okay, this is Athena Jezik. Thank you for your time.